If you're looking for a support solution for your company, but the price tag of something like Zendesk or Help Scout makes you a little bit uncomfortable, well, then you're gonna wanna check out the product in today's video, which is Thrivedesk. Thrivedesk is gonna get you about 90% of the way there in terms of features and appearance, but it's really just about 10% of the price. It's absolutely amazing how low they've been able to price this thing. So I highly recommend it for budget conscious e-commerce brands, as well as bootstrap startup software companies. Thrivedesk includes all of the major features that I want to see inside of a support desk solution, including a shared inbox, live chat, and a knowledge base. Now, throughout the rest of this video, I'm going to show you my five favorite features of Thrivedesk, as well as three shortcomings you want to be aware of before you go ahead and dive in headfirst with this software company. Let's get started with feature number one, which is the ability to sync data between your e-commerce site. Making the connection between your store and Thrivedesk is quite easy. I'm gonna to go to the lower left-hand corner here and go to their app store. Here, I'm gonna see all of the different stores that I can connect and the other services that are available. In this case, I'm gonna be choosing WooCommerce. I can click on install now, and it's gonna give me some instructions on how to connect my WooCommerce site up to Thrivedesk. Here's my WooCommerce site. Let's go ahead and log into the dashboard and I'll go to plugins, add new. I'm gonna search for Thrivedesk and install, activate. Then go over to settings, Thrivedesk. From here, I just need to click connect. It takes me back over to Thrivedesk where I can name my store, choose which inboxes I want to connect to the store, and save. Great, I'm ready to go. Now let's see how this would work as a customer. I'm going to shop on my store. I'll buy this dog hut, go to the checkout, and I'm ready to place my order. Five minutes has gone by and I haven't received my order. I better contact support and see where it is. Here's an email address that I've linked up to my shared inbox on Thrivedesk. Here's a typical request from a normal customer. I'll hit send. Heading back over to Thrivedesk, I'm gonna check my inbox. It looks like I've got some unassigned messages. Let's see the email that I just sent. Here it is, it's been so long, where's my stuff? Over on the right-hand sidebar, I can see all previous orders from the same customer. I can also see other recent conversations that we've had with the customer that may or may not be related to the issue at hand. This guy seems like a handful, so I'm gonna leave an internal note and assign it to my team member. Feature number two is something that's very important to keep support requests at a minimum, and that is a knowledge base, particularly a knowledge base that is branded with your own domain name. Here's how you set up the knowledge base. Go over to the little book icon, click, create your first doc, give your knowledge base a name, choose which users can work on the knowledge base. If you want, you can also make the site private. For this case, I'm going to leave it public. Then go ahead and create the doc site. When you're ready to add your first doc, Choose Access Doc Site. You can create a new article. It functions just like a normal rich text editor. I can paste in some text, add in some headlines, add a table, give the table some formatting, Add an alert box, drop in a picture, resize it, and even embed a video. I can resize that too. You can collaborate on documents with your teammates as well. I'm all done for now, so I'll hit save. When you wanna check out what the article looks like, just click over here. Here's the knowledge base. This is what the article looks like. Not bad, but I don't have a custom domain yet. To set up a custom domain, just head over to settings, custom domain, and then choose the domain that you'd like to use. I'll use the subdomain help over on the same site that my WooCommerce store is hosted. Hit save changes. Now I just need to add a CNAME record to my DNS settings. I'll copy the target, head over to Cloudflare, add record, CNAME, target, Make sure that my subdomain is correct. Turn off the cloud and hit save. If that section moved too fast for you, don't worry, there's a help doc over on thrivedesk.com. Here they show you how to set up a DNS record with a ton of different hosting providers. Now that everything is set up, I'll verify the domain. My domain is now active. Let's check it out. Great, everything worked perfectly. Feature number three that I love about Thrivedesk is their powerful live chat. It lets you interact with your customers in real time, but it also connects to your e-commerce data as well as your knowledge base. Let's set up live chat. 
In Thrivedust, they call that a chat assistant. So I'm gonna click on the chat assistant icon, choose create new assistant, give that assistant a name. Next, I'll select an inbox. All of the chats will end up in the inbox, so make sure you choose the right one. Hit create, and it says success. The assistant has been created. Now, we can customize. There's a preview of what everything's gonna look like in the lower right-hand corner. You can see right here, I've got an icon. I can change that to be a different icon, or I can upload my own. I'll go with the classic text bubble. If an icon alone isn't enough for you, you can go ahead and add some text in. Let's click to see what it looks like on the inside. All right, there we go, pretty nice. But let's change the colors. I think I want this brown color for my background color. I'll paste it in. And for the action color, this orange looks good. Let me paste this one in as well. You can see right away that the preview updates. Let's see what it looks like now. All right, much better. Next, I'm gonna go ahead and connect my doc site. I'll go over to docs and choose the doc site that I just created. And let's turn this on. Let's save settings. Now when I check the chat preview, I have a new section where I can search the knowledge base. I can also head over to apps over here and connect up WooCommerce. Toggle it on, choose the site that I want, hit save. Now when I check my live chat widget, I have a new section where I can check my order status. You just click, enter in your email address and order number, and you can get your status. Installing the widget on your live site is just like adding Google Analytics. You click over on the installation area, we get a big block of code, I'll copy it, and then just paste it on my site. You can use any code snippet tool you like. I'm gonna use WP Codebox. I'll give it a name like live chat, Choose JavaScript and paste in the code. Now when I visit my site, I can see my little chat bubble over here in the corner. Back over in my inbox, I can see the chats coming in. I could do this all night. Feature number four that I love about ThriveDesk is their mobile app. Now you can answer support requests anywhere you are that has a mobile connection. So here's my phone and we can go ahead and open up the ThriveDesk app. You can see all of the unassigned messages that I have. I can go back out, view things like live chats. Here's the chat we were just having a moment ago. I can switch between different inboxes. And I can even see tickets that were assigned to other people. Here's the message that we assigned earlier in this video. Processing tickets from the phone is super easy. You can go ahead and do things like flag a message, give it a tag, leave an internal note, reply to the customer, or assign another coworker. <laughs> So that's the ThriveDesk app. It's really easy to use and it's available on both Android and iOS. And feature number five that I'd like to highlight inside of ThriveDesk is their reporting. So this is the report icon inside of ThriveDesk. When you click on it, it opens up this sidebar right here where we see four different categories of reports. Now we can change what inbox we're working in with this little disclosure triangle. I can switch in my case between sales and support. And in the upper right hand corner, we can choose a different time frame. Right now, we're just looking at the last week. The conversation section is gonna show you all of the conversations that have taken place on your platform over the last week. You can see total new conversations, how many conversations are happening per day, whether or not they're getting resolution, and some other helpful stats like how many different people actually contacted you. The productivity section is gonna tell you more about how effective your agents are. How long does it take them to respond? How long does it take them to resolve a situation? And how many interactions does it take to actually get that resolution? The next section is happiness, and this is based on your CSAT score, or a little survey that's sent out after a resolution of a ticket to find out how the agent did. You can figure that inside of your inbox settings. Just go to manage for the inbox that you want to set up, go to satisfaction ratings, and you can toggle this on or off and change the language that's used. 
back over to reports where we have one section left and that is simply the agents. So you can see how each individual worker is doing in terms of how many conversations they're engaged in and how many resolutions they found. So that's the reporting section. It's really simple and clean and I actually don't mind using it. That's saying a lot for reports. Now here are three shortcomings of Thrivedesk. Three things that I think you should be aware of before you go ahead and dive in head first. First of all, no two-factor authentication. If you're adding team members and they're scattered about different parts of the world, they're gonna be interacting with your customer data. And so it would be really nice to make sure that all of their accounts are secure. There's no way to do that currently with Thrivedesk. Hopefully that's something they can add in the near future. Number two is that their workflows feature is in beta. It's very, very new and there's not a lot of triggers for it just yet. If you're coming from Help Scout and you're used to their very powerful automations, you're gonna be a little bit disappointed that they're not all represented inside of Thrivedesk. To me, this is not a deal breaking feature, but if you're doing high volumes of support and you depend on workflows in order to get things done efficiently, you should probably still stay on something like Help Scout. Point number three is that this is a startup, and so you're gonna see startup-like qualities in terms of they're adding new features all the time, but they don't always work. You'll find links throughout the interface that don't do anything or spelling mistakes both on their homepage and on the back end. There's also no export option right now, so once you get your customer data into Thrivedesk, there's not a very easy way to get it out that I've found anyway. If these three shortcomings don't dissuade you, and for most people, honestly, I don't think it should, make sure you go ahead and check out Thrivedesk. I got a link in the description. That'll be a referral link, and it helps me out if you click it before making a purchase. I'll be posting a much longer in-depth tutorial for Thrivedesk over on profitable.tools within the next day or so. That'll be available exclusively to Profitable Tools Insiders, my brand new membership program. So go ahead and check that out if you're interested in a little bit additional help with Thrivedesk. Otherwise, leave any comments or questions down below. I'll be answering everybody's questions as quickly as possible. And thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video.